Welcome to Lola Lee Chat. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So the people that handle Krishan Snapchat have started to post again. They posted this old video. It was first posted on April the 19th, 2024. And in this, Marsh is doing Krishan's lashes and Krishan is doing a Q&A. So before I post the clip, Marsh, the friend that is taking care of Junior, that is also Junior's godmother, she's taking care of Junior while Krishan is locked up. And she has a celebrity demo lash class event, June 22nd, 2024. The cost is $500 and I just wanted to shout that out. What's up, ATL Ho? I'ma see y'all this Saturday. Make sure you purchase and get your lash class tickets. We're gonna be at Glam House ATL. Um, what I'm gonna be giving y'all at your lash class, you're gonna get a full kit. So you're gonna get a mannequin, you're gonna have your tweezers, we're gonna give y'all a lash trays and other essential goodies that will help y'all perform y'all skills and get straight to the bag right after I teach y'all this class. What's up? So definitely go check that out if this is something that you're interested in and if you're in that area for sure. So as many of you guys already know, Krishant is scheduled for release June 20th at midnight, but we are still waiting to see if Oklahoma will extradite her. And as we look at this poster here, we see that Krishan was advertised to be at the event. So let's hope that she does get released on the 20th and that she will be at this event. And of course, home with her son, Junior. So back to the clip, I was thinking this video was possibly reposted just to remind people about Krishan, Marsh and Jay's friendship and where everything was at. Krishan talked about what was going on with her and her friends. She was asked that question and she said she hasn't been with them lately. And of course, this was at the time of the recording of this video, but she had started to come to the house to use a pool. She talked about loving her friends so much and that they get to grow and build with one another. We did get to hear from Marsh regarding what's going on with their friend group. She said they are all in a new chapter. They are elevating each other. Check this out. Greatness is in this one right here. And you shall see. You mock my word. Greatness is in this one right here. And you shall see. You mock my word. So you have some new music coming out. Are there any artists that you would like to work with this year? Yeah. It's Blueface, baby. Sounds good. So when are we going to be seeing you playing football? Okay, my first game is May 5th. I'm excited. And nervous. Um, how do you think your 2024 is going so far? So far, so great for real. Um, I made out with my nigga, my favorite person in the world, so that's a starting. To have so much time just to pour into my son right now. Just taking off and regrouping and making new, new music, a new direction. So you said you've been, been spending a lot of time with Junior. What are uh, some things that you like to do with Junior? Um, I just love to just spend time and just practice um, him holding things, eating soft things, um, everything. Just spending a lot of time just to help him grow. And he's a happy baby, so I don't know. Just being his mom hum humbled me a lot as an adult, so it's crazy. Do you think you're going to have more kids? Of course. I'm going to have 11 more. So you want to have a big family? Yes, sir. That's awesome. Um, so how often have you been going to church? Have you been going to church recently at all? 
like I usually love when uh, Sarah Jakes come to preach or her husband to um to Ray, Pastor to Ray, and uh, at One LA. So I I usually go there, and then um, sometimes if they're out of town, I watch online, and then uh, through the week I pray and I read this Bible. It's like um, at, what, what is it called? Orange. It's like a girl study Bible. It's like a girl study Bible. It just keeps me on my swivel with that, and then uh, just being with my friends and stuff. Like, well, I haven't been with them lately for real, but. Now I'm starting to like come over to use the pool and shit, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> you know, seems to be a lot going on. Is there anything you want to talk about that's going on with your friends? Oh, we just like love each other so much, and we get to um, grow and build with one another at a, a great level. Like. I don't know, like Marsha's son, my son. We just happy our kids can have a backyard with a basketball court for real. So it's like, it's fun. And then micromanaging each other and have family meetings and fellowshipping about the Lord. Uh, it's a roller coaster, but it's worth it because it's better to be with people that love you than alone. So what you think, Marsh? What was the question? What's going on? Oh, that <laughs> no, like, what, what'd you say? It's a lot of time with friends. So. Yeah, what's going on with all the, the friends in your friend group? Um, right now, I feel like we're all in, like, um, a new chapter. A new chapter, yeah. Like, I feel like um, we're all elevating and kind of like walking in our truth. And yeah, because we don't lack for nothing, no need for sure. Yeah, so it's like we just kind of, like, focusing a lot. Have fun. On our art and developing. I'm gonna start dropping my new music and stuff. So I've been like shooting videos. It's been like a cool process. Learning a lot. So. Okay, so we heard from Marsh, but we haven't heard from Jay in a while. Jay did an Instagram live on Sunday, June the 16th, which was Father's Day. And she gave some life updates about herself, her boyfriend. She said she's no longer living in the house she said she is no longer the road manager and she's basically just focusing on her music right now so the instagram live was about an hour so i've just taken the clips where she talks about those things and just compiled them but if you do want to see the full video that's on my other channel Lola Lee T. my all my friends are still my friends like damn i'm gonna say that right now all my friends are still my friends like I'm annoyed right now. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm with my man. That's why y'all don't really see me with my friends is because me and my man live together. So you know, I'm making my. So that's what I motherfucking did. I got another motherfucking house so I could vlog in, bitch. And yeah. I'm not a road manager anymore. I actually, actually, I'm my own manager. It's just learning from each other, coming up with choreography. Yeah. Like we like have so much time, like taking a break from traveling and being on show. Just taking time for us is just more time to develop what, what we truly want to be. So it's worth it. But yeah, it's a lot going on. Yeah, it seems so. Um, you mentioned traveling. <laughs> 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 what you say? Um, no, I said you mentioned traveling. Do you have any plans this year? Any trips you want to take? Uh, I'm just traveling with my football league. Um, war, go war team war. Shout out to you guys. Uh... And just for the rest of the clip, she's basically just talking about Blueface. I'm just really waiting for my baby father. For real. I mean, really, really need a lot of love and attention through the phone, through support, um, putting money with books, uh, what else? sending him packages, always having to be available, like, um, for the phone, like, I hate when my phone is either dead, I'm in the shower, or I sleep too hard, because it's so, like, personal, like, when you miss that call from him, and, I don't know, uh, he's in, like, I don't know, he, he's where, like, the, the, where he's at in jail, that's where, like, People go down, like go there, like that place where um, you 
all your rights is really pretty much taken away. You don't have yard time. You can't be in the pot. Like, you can't do nothing. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I just really feel for him right now. His books. Uh, what else? Sending him packages. Always having to be available. Like, um, for the phone. Like, I hate when my phone is either dead, I'm in the shower, or I sleep too hard. Because it's so, like, personal. Like, when you miss that call from him and... I don't know, uh, he's in like, I don't know, he, he's where, like, the, the where he's at in jail, that's where, like, people go down, like, go there, like, that place where, um, you, all your rights is really pretty much taken away, you don't have yard time, you can't be in the pot, like, you can't do nothing, uh, it's just, I don't know, I just really feel for him right now, I don't like what he's going through. It's really like, I don't know, like sometimes I would be sad and I don't have to like be more happy to be there with him and put my sadness. And then like sometimes he'll let me, like I just like how we're just there for each other. Like and then when it's time for him to have his day and I have to put my bullshit aside, just like fuck it and just keep. It's okay, baby, da, 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 da. but hokey, I'm holding back tears. I'm so, like, I'm just like, oh, like, you know, like, it's a lot of that, and it's a lot of laughing on the phone. It's a lot of fellowship, and it's a lot of, I like to read a word to him, pray to him. It's fun. How do you stay focused being in L.A. with all these different distractions? Is there, like, a, something you do? Is it going to church or just trying to ground yourself? Oh, right now it's football for just going on the field. It's kind of fun because it's physical. Um, it's just it's just for where you can get a lot of aggression and you can't be soft like so I can just go on the field for all my pain or the studio praying for the most part um, learning not to um, like I can be transparent with my fans like this but um, I just feel like it's, it's just levels of times where you just Stop doing certain things and just pick up something new. So, like, I try to get rid of my bad habits and just focus on keep bettering myself for real. You don't really get distracted. You just worry about yourself. So when you just worry about yourself, all the stuff that is happening in it really don't matter. So, yeah. My voice is fucking going. It's getting my nerves. Um, so do you have a favorite song right now that's not one of yours? Anything new that you've been listening to that's out that you like? Or? All I'm really re listening to is Better Days. Like, I, I listen to my music too. Um, I listen to Blueface unreleased music. And then I listen to my unreleased music. I just, I just be on All right, so you guys saw the clips. I just realized that this event is in Atlanta. I don't know why I didn't notice that. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be supporting Marsh by attending this Celebrity Lash demo class. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. What's up, ATL Ho? I'm gonna see y'all this Saturday. Make sure you purchase and get your Lash Class tickets. We're gonna be at Glam House ATL. Um, what I'm gonna be giving y'all at your Lash Class, you're gonna get a full kit. So you're gonna get a mannequin, you're gonna have your tweezers, we're gonna give y'all a lash trays and other essential goodies that will help y'all perform y'all skills and get straight to the bag right after I teach y'all this class. What's up?